they sell here? We don't have that brand. We have some uh, sweet potato tortilla chips. They have sweet potato chips, it's not that brand. If you want that brand, you gotta drive to a restaurant. <laughs> 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 then you can get a whole meal while you're at it, you know? <laughs> Make it worth your trip. <laughs> Any other questions? Do you ever eat raw vegetables? Or yes. Is it, is it always cold? Is it salad yes. Lunch? I always do a great big salad at lunch. That's oh, my main okay. thing. Um, and oftentimes, I will pack some carrot sticks, like some raw carrot sticks in one of these compartments. If I want some raw veggies instead right. of cooked veggies. Um, or sometimes I'll throw an apple in and just eat an apple with it. Um, but I, I prefer like to do some carrot sticks or celery sticks or something like what you had here. Uh, I'll either stick it in a sandwich bag on the side or just use it to fill one of the compartments. And your time's up. Oh, thank you. Six minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, it's barely starting to steam, but I'll check it and see what it's doing here. It's actually getting really close, but it's not quite done yet. Give me two more minutes. Yeah, give me two more minutes. Are there any other questions? Yes, I, I appreciate your question about the raw. Raw is very important. Uh, there are some people who can't chew a lot of raw things uh, because it's hard on their teeth. And so if you lightly steam, but you're not cooking it to death, you're still getting a lot of the nutrition that you would in raw. Like for me, I can't chew more than two raw carrots in a meal. But I can eat a whole plate full of cooked carrots, no problem. Um, and so it's it's good to get both. Uh, also, the other thing that I found interesting is some of your vitamins you get more from cooked than raw. One of those is vitamin A. Uh, you get about four times as much vitamin A from a steamed carrot than you do from a raw carrot. Uh, because the steaming, of course, that's not boiling or turning into mush, right? <laughs> but the steaming actually opens up uh, the vitamin, unlocks it, so your body can utilize it more. Uh, so it's good to do both. It's good to get a lot of raw. It's good to get a lot to get some of your cooked vegetables too. Sometimes the raw vegetables will kind of repeat on you as you get older. Uh, and flour and all that. <laughs> so would cooking them a little bit help? Yes. With that. It does help, yeah. yeah. Okay. And also taking a digestive enzyme, right? And we'll help with that a lot. I do that too. <laughs> yes, that, that's okay, one of your the time's up. Two minutes. My time, my two minutes is up. All right. It's being really slow because yeah. it's a giant pot. Plus, of course, every time I open it, I let it see that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a little longer. It's very close, though. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about was protein. Uh, there is more protein, ounce per ounce, there is more protein in lettuce. Now, I'm not talking iceberg lettuce, but I'm talking green leaf lettuce, okay, or romaine lettuce, uh, than there is in steak. All of your green vegetables have protein, and that's why I say the protein extra is optional if you're getting your green vegetables and you can do the starch because you're getting protein. Uh, you're getting protein if you pack yourself a salad, as long as it's not the iceberg lettuce, it's the real green stuff. Uh, you're getting protein in broccoli, there's protein in cauliflower, there's even protein in cabbage. Um, pretty much all of the cabbage family is high in protein. Your kale, collards, uh, all of those are a great source of protein. So. That's why I say you you can just do that in a starch and you're still getting a balanced meal because you are getting protein. Uh, so that's, um, especially if you're having problems with blood sugar, uh, all of your green vegetables will stabilize blood sugar levels. Uh, I find if I eat green vegetables or a big green salad with my meal, uh, that I will be full a lot a longer than I am if I omit the green. Okay? So even if I eat, now these are done now, even if I eat uh, carrots, they don't hold me over as long as broccoli does. Um, all right, we're going to get rid of, <coughs> shut this off here. Okay, I'm going to...
gonna try to put in two separate things here. We're gonna put the another solution if you have trouble with your teeth, which I've been through that a lot, is to use a green smoothie. Yes, <laughs> and green smoothies are wonderful. The only the only downside to a smoothie is sometimes we make them extra sweet to get them down. So you do have to watch your sugar level, but green smoothies are really good. Um, <laughs> that works. <laughs> now I normally would just pick this up by the sink and turn it upside down, but it's a, a little bit harder to do that when I'm this far from the sink. <laughs> I want my broccoli, in, I mean, I want my carrots in a different bowl, so that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Is your restaurant open? We're open Monday through Friday. Uh, and lunch. some, we, we specialize in lunch. Uh, we do do breakfast. Just uh, call me if you want breakfast because I don't have everything made on hand. I make it special. Um, and every now and then uh, we do uh, Sunday brunch. Uh, we've done three so far this year. We did one for Valentine's Day. Uh, one in April, and we did one this week for Mother's Day. And uh, you guys got to enjoy it. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, but uh, when we do a Sunday brunch, we go all out. We do like waffles, French toast, hash browns, cheesecake, scrambled tofu, granola, fruit salad, um, muffins. Yeah, pretty much the whole nine yards. The cheesecake. If we were going to bring a group for lunch, would it have to be before a certain time? I, if you want to bring a group for lunch, 11 to 3 is our, our best time when we actually have uh, all of our lunch hot and ready to go. 11 to 3. But you can come after that. Just call. If you're going to bring me a group of more than 10, give me a heads up because I'll need to double the amount of entree I made that day. <laughs> Yeah, you come the second Tuesday of the month late, you'll find me racing around trying to load my car. <laughs> so the third you have a class there. Right? The third Tuesday of the month yes. I have a class there, that's correct. I'm gonna start going to eat there and then go to class there too. There you go. So what I like to do uh, since I put a little bit of salt in the water, I don't do anything to my carrots. But uh, my broccoli, I like to season it up a little bit because it was definitely way out of the water anyway. Um, so I've got a few favorite seasonings that I like to do. Sometimes I'll just sprinkle a little bit of salt and some onion powder. And that makes a very, very nice seasoning for broccoli. Or more recently, I found a new favorite seasoning for broccoli. and. Uh, it's this right here. It's coconut oh, aminos. That's, that's good. It's a, basically like a soy sauce, but there's no soy in it. It's gluten free and it's made out of coconut. It's good. It is really good. And it's got less sodium than your regular soy sauce, so it's not real salty, but it gives good flavor. All right, I think we just got about everything out of this pot. So I'll show you what I do. I get the rest of this out. Where's that bunny? Here it is. So I just put it on the broccoli. Yeah, but it's not. It's not as salty as Bragg's, and there's no soy. It's soy. Bragg's is soy. Yes. And it's not as concentrated as Bragg's. Right, it's not as strong. I find it a little sweeter, though. Yeah, it's it has good. a little bit of a sweet flavor yeah. to it. All right, and then uh, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder to it. <laughs> <laughs> I like onions. Should I dump it? No. There's a lot of broccoli in here, remember? This was four containers, yes. right? That's not what you're going to eat in one meal. <laughs> All right, just gonna gently stir that up a little bit. 
So now I'm ready for my container. So I'm going to do a sample container for you and let you see what it's like. So since none of you ate the pasta salad, I'm going to steal it from you. I'm going to put a little bit of pasta in this one. And then uh, I'm going to fill the rest of that big compartment up with the broccoli and cauliflower. I try to put it in containers immediately and let it cool because it cools faster in the little containers than it will in this big bowl. Mm -hmm. Much faster. But you eat it cold. I eat it cold. I am one of those strange people that loves cold cooked vegetables the next day. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, I think I too. That. But you know what? These dishes can be warmed up. So. Pop it in my plate. <laughs> I think I could do it if I dipped in hummus, like the vegetables. Yep. But I couldn't do it. They're, they're good. You'd be surprised. They taste like they have salad dressing on them once you put salad in them. Yeah, because I've got oh, yeah. that, that seasoning on them. They taste, they taste like marinated broccoli. Right. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So, let's see. We'll put some hummus in there. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Put a few raw veggies on the other side. Some of the little bitty ones. What do you think? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like the same thing every day, then uh, just choose one other vegetable that you can alternate with. Do like two containers with one and two with another. Um, and also you can change up like I've got pasta salad in this one, do some cooked potatoes in the other one, or something like that. Make it really simple. Um, or another thing that I like to do, uh, if I'm going to do one with uh, a little bit more protein in it, and no, let's see, I'm going to put it in this one. No, I can put that one. <laughs> I have to choose which container, which side I'm going to put it in here. All right, let's put a bunch of carrots in this one. And... Uh, Fill the rest of that side with broccoli and cauliflower. And this one we'll put, let's see, we can put celery in it. I think there's a couple little ones here that will fit. Yeah. Put some celery sticks in there. And then See what this is? Now, if I had if I had time to cook at home and I was home more, I could use my my own homemade ones, right? But this is just pinto beans. That's all it is. Uh, it's the green ones that say naturally fat free. The ingredient is pinto beans, water, and salt. <coughs> and uh, I can just do a couple of containers with a little bit of that in. <laughs> now we're talking his language. <laughs> All right. And then if I wanted to, I could make a little tiny sandwich baggie with a few of these to go with it. Right? And there we've got another one. And that one is more protein without the starch. Okay? That's another option. There's so many different things you can do. Oh, the beans do have starch in them. They yes, do have they carbohydrates. Do. They do have starch in them too, yes. There's so many things that you can do to change it up, but I love the fact I've got four container, you know, holes that I can do all different things. Sometimes I'll fill one up with trail mix, you know, just for something different. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's, there's a, or I'll put dried fruit in one, um, or if I, if I've made some kind of, uh, like for instance this week, I actually have at home some millet patties that I made. And uh, I'm going to stick those in some of the holes for this week. Uh, there's, there's so many things that you can do. And it's what you like. And maybe a little bit of leftovers from dinner that you want to stick in one of those holes. Um, but the neat thing is, you know uh, that you're getting a balanced meal. You're not just grabbing something out the door. You're not grabbing a, pair, a bag of chips on your way out 
or a, you know, a bag of dried fruit or, you know, some of these high calorie things that we tend to grab, granola bars or uh, whatever, you're getting something that's fully nutritional. You're spending maybe an hour or two a week on one day and you're packing everything for the whole week and you don't have to worry about it again until next week. Doesn't that sound great? Yes. <laughs> so now you have a little peek into my life. <laughs> I hope it gave you a, a little bit of inspiration and vision of things that you can go home and do for yourself. Or maybe you're, maybe you're home all the time, but I'll tell you this real quick and then we'll end because our time's about up. I, I have a friend uh, who actually started coming to our restaurant, but uh, he's older and he does not know how to cook and uh, has really bad diabetes and his doctor told him if he didn't change his diet, he would die. And so uh, I bought a set of these containers for him and I take him grocery shopping one day a week and go to his house and fix it all for him. And I know that every day he goes in that fridge and he gets a container of really good food. Oh, that's awesome. And he absolutely loves it. You know, and that's something you can do. You may know a, a neighbor or you may have an aging relative that you worry about, but you don't have time to go over there every single day and bring them food. This is something that you can do for them. Good idea. And you can tailor it to things that you know they'll like, you know they'll eat, but yet you know you don't have to worry about them getting a balanced meal. So, uh, yeah, kids too. <laughs> Pack your kids' lunches that way. So. Anyway, I hope that hope that something, even though this is a little different, is something exciting and you learned something new today. Sure. Well, right. well, thank you. Why don't we end with a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these uh, simple things that you've given us to help keep us, keep us healthy and to uh, make us strong. And I just pray that you will bless us now as we go our ways that you will keep us safe until we can meet again. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, thanks for coming tonight. I have no idea what I'll do next month, but I'll probably surprise you with something crazy again. Uh, because you came tonight, uh, be sure and buy something because you get 20% off anything that's not on sale.